Are you ready? Matt, are you ready? Yeah, he says yeah. He's kind of he's kind of shy, but hey, that's my little four-year-old guy. What are you gonna do? Are you making a movie? Hi, I'm four. Cause you're four. I'm going to make a movie right now. You're gonna make a movie right now? Yeah, that's what these people are wanting to know, how to make a movie. You want Dad to explain to them and tell them what's, what the deal is, how to do this? Yeah! All right, sweet. All right, you heard it. Matt wants me to do a movie about how to make movies. All right, so this is what you do. These are the basics, all right? Hope you people enjoy this. All right, check out all my other movies. I've got a bunch of other stuff. Hope you like it. All right, first off, how to make a movie. Always do it in pause. All right, next. Go to your pocket. Open it up. Go to where it says tool bags. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Tool bag. Go to your tool bag. Yeah, okay. Go to your tool bags. Go over to global controls. Okay. Then change over to cutscene. And that's the basic that's the basic start of your movie right there. Alright. Next, take out a sequencer. Put it somewhere in your movie, but don't move it. If you move it, it's gonna change all your camera angles. Then take out a tag sensor and put a tag right next to it. Make sure they're both set to be the same color. Make sure tag radius is big enough. Take and hook up the tag sensor to the left side of the sequencer, and that should get everything rolling. Next, go into the options of your sequencer and change where it says seconds per stripe to four seconds. That's going to make each one of these pink blocks right here four seconds long. Oh, yeah, baby. Now we're getting into the good stuff. Time for the camera. Say, Geez! Yeah, that's awesome. You guys are doing great. Following along, getting the hang of this. Pretty easy, ain't it? All right, take out a movie camera. Put it up here in the sequencer, just like right here. See it? See it right here? See that pink line right there? That is where it's going to all start when you unpause or go to play mode. So make sure that's always at the beginning of your movie. Now, if you're testing your film and you don't want to watch the whole entire thing, you can change that pink line to somewhere down your sequencer, like way over there. So you don't have to watch this whole thing all over every single time you want to test it over and over and over and drive yourself mad to where you're like, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm driving myself crazy. Okay. Want to know how to make that line go wherever you want it? Take out your poppet. Go to your sequencer, press square, wherever you want on that sequencer, and that's going to be where that red line is. Okay, right now, it's up here on the beginning of the movie. Don't forget, when you start it, make sure it's right there. Make sure it's highlighted, otherwise your movie's not going to happen. You're going to see this blank floor right here. Just blank. You know, you don't want to be like everybody else that doesn't know how to make a movie, right? The blank floor, you're like, what is this? These people have no skill. You can do it, people. You can make a movie. With my help, we can all make movies. You want your movies to work in multiplayer? <gasps> Do you? Want them to work in multiplayer, Matt? You want these people to have more than one person watching a movie at a time? Yeah. Okay, this is very important then. You need to make sure you lengthen your cameras. This whole top line where all your cameras are, you should not have any pink space in between your cameras. Because if you do, it's not going to work in multiplayer. It's just not going to happen. Okay, want to know how to adjust the length of cameras? Go to the camera, press X, and use your right joystick and go up and down. That's going to make them longer or shorter. you got to set that up, people. Otherwise, it's not going to make any sense. You can jazz your movies up with some music. <laughs> yeah, get it? Jazz? <laughs> I know, that was not funny at all. You can also put Magic Mouth in, so it'll read stuff like this. Add music and Magic Mouth. Make sure you lengthen it, just like you did your cameras. And go and change options to subtitles. Yes, yes. That'll make it work. But don't have any cameras overlapping each other. So you can't use that in pan camera mode. It won't work. It just has to be in cutscene. I don't know what the deal with this. It just doesn't work for some reason. Add some more cameras music and magic mouth, and that's how you set up your movie for the basics. Sackbots take an extreme amount of thermometer. So what I've found that works for me is I'll go to an empty world, 
do the actions that I want on the SAC bot, copy them, come back, set up a timer like this to 0.8 seconds, one second before the camera that I want that SAC bot to come out, so that two tenths of a second it's going to appear. Take that timer, hook it up to an emitter, put that SAC bot in an emitter, and that way it'll appear. That's pretty much how I found it works. I mean, if it works for you in a different way, then try it. I mean, it's there's so many different ways to make a movie. I'm just trying to give you guys an easy way that I've found that works for me. Make sure you put a game ender at the end of your movie. Otherwise, it'll just keep going on forever and ever. These are pretty much the basics. Hope they helped.